Kelly and Kyle with Cruiser Customizing, and welcome to this week's Tip of the Week. Last episode, Kelly and I showed you how to replace your stock riser. This week, we're going to take you through a step-by-step -step handlebar installation. Choosing a handlebar that allows you to reuse all your stock controls and wiring and cables, super simple installation. This is going to be a little bit more involved, but here on the table in front of us, we've got a heat gun, soldering iron, some heat shrink tubing, and we're going to show you exactly how this is done. We're going to begin by quickly removing all of our stock components. Come take a look. Moving our stock cable ties, step one. Disconnect the electrical that goes to your master cylinder. Now I'm going to remove my master cylinder clamp. I'm now removing the screws that hold my switch box housing together. I'm loosening this screw until the pin comes out of the bar so that I can... For some off. people, grip removal can be a mystery. Step one, remove our end cap. Now you're going to twist the grip until it breaks free. Slide it off. Last step on this side, removing the clutch perch. With everything loose, we're now going to remove the bar from the risers and slide everything off. The next step is the most important step in this installation. As we've gone ahead and set the risers and bar together so that we can get a test fit. We need to measure this motorcycle to find out the proper length of the wiring and the lines and cables. Now there's a hole in the bottom of the bar and a hole up here. This is where we're going to run our electrical. We're now going to run this wire harness up the bar to where it ends. All right, Kelly, go ahead and grab the tape measure, and we're going to measure up to where they come out of the hole so we know exactly how long we need to go. From this measurement, it looks like we're going to need an 18-inch extension on every single wire that goes into this wire harness. Will we need the same length for our lines and cables? Actually, Kelly, our lines and cables don't get run inside the bar, so that measurement's going to be extremely different. Come on in close and take a look. The measurement for lines and cables is a little bit different. You're going to hold it up to where the line or cable extends at its maximum point. You're then going to take a tape measure, and then this is going to connect right about here. As you can see on this tape, it's roughly six inches over stock. Measuring for the other side is exactly the same. So let's get this bar off the bike and get it wired. Okay. Before we can extend our electrical, we need to remove it from the bike. Now on this bike, it's located right under here. Cover off, unplug the electrical. The other side is done exactly the same. The next step is we're going to remove the stock wire cover from all of the wires. Now we've got the stock wire harness unsheathed. We can see exactly what we've got to work with. We have six on this side and 11 on this side. When it comes to extending your wiring, you've got two options as far as making the connections. Strip the ends of the wires, twisted them together, and soldered them. Now there's another method that you can use as well. That's called the butt connector. And here we've got two examples of how you can extend the wires on the inside of your bars. He's already gone ahead and cut 18 inch sections of wire for us to be able to extend these with. Now you want to keep in mind the last say 12 inches of this wire or so were outside of the bar running down the neck and into the front frame of the motorcycle. That's going to be the area that you're going to want to extend in case there's ever a problem you can get to it easily. Cutting this harness is I'm going to go ahead and start with the first wire. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm then going to move a half inch to an inch farther up the chain. That way I can ensure that all of my connections are in a different location so it minimizes the potential for them to short, number one. And number two, there's going to be less mass to once again pull through the bar. Now that we've got each of these cut, we're going to go ahead and take our heat shrink tubing and slide it onto each of these wires. Go ahead and strip the ends of each of these wires. We've got our extension. We've got our stock harness. I'm going to go ahead and set these up, one next to the other, and then twist the wires around each other. We're going to hold it just underneath this wire until it gets hot. Once the wire gets hot enough, the solder will melt, and then we let it dry. We've got our solder connection done. We're going to go ahead and take our heat shrink tubing. We're going to slide it up into place and hit it with the gun. 
As you can see here, all these wires have now been extended and now we're ready to cover this with a chrome covering. Slide a piece of heat shrink tubing all the way up to the switch box housing. Bring these wires with electrical tape so that when we pull them through the bar they don't get snagged. We're going to work this all the way up to the switch box housing and then we're going to go ahead and cut it with a hot knife. Now the next step is to feed the wires through the bar. By feeding this wire through the bar, we're now going to tie our sheath to our pole wire. Now that we have the pole wire connected, I'm going to go ahead and gently pull The next step of the operation, we're going to undo the pull wire and we're then going to solder on all the rest of our original lead to the black wires that we extended this way. There we go. Now we've effectively run our wiring through both sides of the handlebars. Well, here we are, the moment of truth. We've got the new bars wired. We're now going to set them into the triple tree. Now we're going to slide these down into place and get the first look of our 12 inch mini apes here on the V-Star. Join us next week where we show you how to install 6 inch overstock lines and cables. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.